What is up guys and welcome back to the G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. I want to show you how to get these overdrive goggles in Roblox as a part of this new action event. I don't know, it kind of popped out of nowhere, wasn't really seeing it coming, but uh, so you go into Heroes of Robloxia and all you have to do basically to get this one is you have to defeat three of the missions. So we're going to show you the first three missions and it's totally sped up, it's like times ten. It's really easy, you just go through and you defeat the bad guys. For the first mission, basically you just use the superpower to bust through a couple things. You have to bust through a bus, you have to bust through a wall at the top, and you also have to move a crane. So you just work your way up here, uh, you work your way to the top, and then there's a crane at the top, and then you have to move the crane over, you go up to it and you press your, it, it'll give you a prompt, so you push a button to move that over, and then you go to this boss guy at the end. He's really easy. He's got some really derpy, like, henchmen. You you can take him on. He's he's really easy. And he's going to scream Kakata or something. I don't even know what that means. If you guys know what that means, then let me know. But I guess you can get the outfits. Anyhow, we're moving on to mission number two over here. Mission number two, probably even easier than mission number one. No, I don't think so. It's actually, it's it's not as easy, but um, it's, it's pretty easy. There's going to be little prompts. As you can see, little cut scenes that show you. You're going to have to use the electric person. So... Like, as you can see here, I've got a friend who's got the electric power to open everything for me. Uh, so at some point it turns into Flood Escape 2 there for a little bit. All the green stuff starts rising up and then you have to escape that. And then you have to go catch this guy at the top. But again, uh, you, you're going to have to zap some things. So you might have to switch back and forth between your powers and uh, use the electricity to zap some things but then once you beat this guy you're good to go and you've got the second part you've got mission two toxic takedown taken care of now we're moving on to mission three so you're gonna have to use a couple different things i think the telekinesis guy at the end and you're gonna have to use the speed guy i think at some point but basically go inside of the museum and beat up all these other guys. It's great if you've got other people helping you that are on your team and they can use the other powers because I just kind of ran around and I beat all the little, uh, the, the, the guys running around trying to get everybody and they were able to use their powers to take out like this guy. So this guy, you have to use telekinesis and he throws all these little planets. There's little, little orbs that are gonna fall on the ground. You can take those and throw them at him with your telekinesis powers. Uh, it was awesome because we had other people there working together. They were throwing the planets at him and I was running around and killing those other guys on the bottom. And that was it. You just finished those three, or any three missions, and then you are gonna get the badge and then you will look in your inventory and you will have the overdrive goggles. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell on the way out so that you guys are notified about future videos for events and live streams and thank you guys for watching and we'll see you later bye